Hello, welcome to my channel. This is another video asked by Julio on the drugs used as sedatives and anesthetics in horses. So in this video, I will speak about tranquilizers, sedatives, opioids, muscular relaxants, and intravenous, inhaled, and local anesthetics. The most used tranquilizer in horses is diazepromazine, that is a phenothiazine and blocks dopaminergic receptors in the central nervous system to use it as an ansiolytic activity. Nevertheless, it blocks also the alpha-1 adrenergic receptors, causing vasodilation and hypotension. For this reason, it may not be a good choice in sick patients that can be more predisposed to severe hypotension. ACP causes sedation and muscular relaxation, but not analgesia. Choose horses can still respond to loud noises or noxious stimuli. As adverse effect, it can cause penile paralysis in intact males. Sedatives used in horses are the alpha-2 agonists that act on alpha-adrenergic receptors in the central nervous system and periphery. They cause sedation, muscular relaxation and analgesia. They have more affinity for alpha-2 receptors, but their selectivity varies. Choose here you can see them in order from the less selective that is xylazine to the most selective, that's metetomidine. At the moment of the administration, they provoke dose-dependent vasoconstriction, thus there is a transient hypotension. The vasoconstriction causes reflex bradycardia, and there can be also atrioventricular blocks. Cardiac output decreases, and at the end there is hypotension. In the table, you can see the most used alpha-2 agonists in horses with the time of onset of their action and their duration. Opioids are used as analgesics as they don't give sedation in adult horses. On the contrary, when administered intravenously alone, they can cause central nervous system stimulation and increased locomotor activity. An adverse effect of opioids is that they can reduce gastrointestinal motility. The muscular relaxant more used in horses are benzodiazepine, as diazepam and midazolam, and guaifenesin that is administered as an intravenous infusion. While in poles, benzodiazepine can be used as sedatives, in adult horses they only provide muscular relaxation and ataxia. Anesthetics, both intravenous and inhalant, cause loss of consciousness and recumbency and should be used after a good sedation. The intravenous anesthetic most used in horses is ketamine, that is a dissociative anesthetic. They are called in this way as they provoke a condition similar to the psychologic dissociation. Ketamine is an MDA receptor antagonist use provide analgesia. I spoke about this mechanism in the video on pain that you can find at the link on top. It's important to remember that ketamine does not provide muscular relaxation. Tues should be used together with benzodiazepine or guaifenesin. Furthermore, it stimulates the sympathetic system, so there is an increase of circulating catecholamines with the final effect of increased heart rate, blood pressure and cardiac output that compensate the hypotension caused by sedatives. Ketamine causes recumbency in 30-60 seconds and its action lasts 20-30 minutes. For a more prolonged effect, can be used in infusion together with guaifenesin and an alpha-2 as triple drip. Thiopental is less used because it causes cardiorespiratory depression and the recumbency occurs in a more sudden and uncoordinated way compared with ketamine. Propofol is also not used in horses, especially because it is expensive for an adult horse. Inhaled anesthetics diffuse through the lungs to the bloodstream and cause general anesthesia and cardiorespiratory depression in the central nervous system.
The minimum alveolar concentration, or MAC, is the minimum alveolar concentration of these drugs that prevents movement to anoxious stimuli in 50% of the patients. Perioperative infusions with other drugs such as alpha-2, lidocaine, opioids or ketamine can be used to provide fewer analgesia and to decrease the MAC of inhaled anesthetics so that their dose can be reduced to avoid excessive cardiorespiratory suppression. And finally, local anesthetics are used to block the conduction of anoxious stimulus from nociceptors so they can be administered subcutaneously, on mucoses, intraarticularly, perineurally or as epidural. Duration is different as you can see in the table. And that's all. I hope that I replied to your question, Julio. And for all the others, if you like the video, press like. If you are not subscribed, subscribe. And if you have a question, comment this video. See you next time.